How's it going traders? It's the Pupple Wall Street back with another weekend review. Today we're going to look at my top tech charts going into next week. If you have if you enjoy my content, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel below. These two actions will help more people see my work. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when my videos come out. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about these chart videos. Lastly, keep in mind, this is not financial advice. I'm only doing this for educational purposes only. So let's dig into the charts. Uh, first and foremost, using TrendSpider to do all of my charting. And you'll notice I have gone back to my dark mode. So hope you like it. Let me know in, down in the comments if you like the dark mode versus the light mode. For me, it helps me see the charts a little better. Um, and I think they just pop off the screen more. So let me know what you think. Any of it. Let's dig into the charts here. We have Apple. So Apple has been an absolute tear. We had this uh, breakout about four weeks ago. Uh, from the downtrend line, we had earnings this past week. We saw a nice big green candle. We pushed through that 50 simple moving average. We did have a squeeze that fired to the downside, but you notice how the momentum in the squeeze has been shifting, has been basically shifting up. And so uh, this is the cause for this, this nice rally that we've had. And you could see once we pushed through that 50 simple moving average, we came right up to that 618 retrace at 162.39. Uh, nice wick through it, and we closed right underneath it. So we're going to watch this week. Can we break back through and hold uh, 162.39? Well, we did close over it. So really, can we hold over that level? And then if we do, I think in time, 171 would come next. Let's take a look at AMD. So AMD, you can see again, we have a squeeze setting up, shifting up to that zero line, and uh, four weeks now uh, green, similar to Apple, but we are not breaking out yet. So we came right into that COVID anchored VWAP last week and we stopped. This week we pushed through it. We pushed through that 236 retracement. Now can we get through, I think it's probably gonna be around $96, $97, and if we can, hundred dollars next and then 10701 do have a flat to somewhat declining 50 simple moving average just above here right at around 110 you could see we have uh, some potential resistance coming up so watch for amd 9600 dollars then over 100 dollars we possibly could see 107. next up is amazon so we've had that split out of the way now we have earnings out of the way. We're back through the 200 simple moving average. We stopped right at the 382 retracement at 134.51. Um, so we did wick through it, but came back and closed We're pretty much right on top of it. So next I'm gonna watch for a move uh, up to potentially 144. You can see we are in a declining, um, broadening formation. Um, so we have one touch, two touch, three touch. Let's see if we get that move right back up here, potentially up to about 150 to 155 in the next couple of weeks. Next up is, wait for that chart to load, CrowdStrike. And you can see from a weekly perspective, we do have a move contained in parallel lines. So potential A, B, C wave in from a retracement when it's contained in parallel lines, it's generally a counter trend move, the trend being up. And so I'm looking at this potentially as an A, B, C. And uh, what I would watch for here is a move back into that 50 simple moving average. You can see how it acted as resistance back in the past and potentially uh, you know, support turned resistance. So we're, Basing for the last four or five weeks over this COVID low anchor VWAP, we did have a TTM squeeze fired to the downside, two dots, uh, but we're holding up pretty well. I think if we hold and continue to hold over this COVID, uh, COVID low anchored VWAP, then in time we should test the 50 simple moving average, which aligns with the top of this declining channel. So Watch for a potential move up to $200 over the next few weeks on CrowdStrike and then any moves over 200 and we're breaking out of this channel and I think that bodes pretty well for CrowdStrike. Uh, next up is Datadog. You know, we've really struggled at $100. Um, you could see here these past two weeks we failed. This week we, we finally broke back over 100 and held. 
And uh, we see all these back tests on $91. So I think as long as $91 holds, we really need to be seeing closes, weekly closes over 108.86, generally 109, 110. You could see resistance, 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 resistance. So if you want to go long on Datadog, you have to wait for these closes over the 108.86 level. You get a close over 108 basically 109 and you take an entry i would be using a stop loss it's a big stop loss but i would use a stop loss under 91 if you're looking for a long-term entry for any short-term entries you know obviously i would use a tighter stop loss uh, next up is google you could see post split now uh, we've been consolidating for the better part of the last few months in a pretty big range right 105 to 120 so any moves or any weekly closes under 105.60, I think that's a good short opportunity down to the 200 simple moving average here. And any moves over 120, I think is a good trade up to that 50 simple moving average up there. Let me get those tags back on there. Not sure why they're not there, but that's your 50. And here's your 200 here. So, yeah, I think, um, you you know, you can trade it within this range, right? You come to the bottom of the range, you use a tight stop loss and trade it back up. You come to the top of the range and you could potentially short it right back down to the bottom using a tight stop. But at some point it's going to break out or it's going to break down. And those would be the two plays, the bigger plays that I would be watching for. Uh, next up is Meta. This has just been very weak. You could see a falling wedge here. And uh, generally, falling wedge could be bullish, you know, but we need to see that breakout first. So um, you see a long term trend line here. I could zoom out and you could see how, you know, we bounced back here in the COVID low and we came right back here and we're, we're failing at that potential uh, support level. So that support now has turned to resistance. And what I would say for Meta, formerly Facebook, uh, we're basing over 154.72, right? So we had a, a, te a test there, a test there, and a test there. And every time we bounce. So the next time we come down to 154.72, if we start to bounce, you could take a trade and just use a tight stop loss down under there. Otherwise, I would be waiting for over 172 before taking any um, you know, trades to the upside on Meta. Uh, next up is Microsoft this is another long term trend line bounce. I'll zoom out just so we can see it. This one goes all the way back to uh, 2016. And you can see we bounced off of that trend line here and that trend line there. And let's zoom back in and you can see another bounce off the trend line here, here, and then this past week, bigger bounce. And what I was watching for on Microsoft was a break and hold over 273. We got that uh, 280. So now over 283, 295, 308, we should test that 50 simple moving average. We do have a squeeze setting up and you can see how again, it's setting up with negative momentum. I had somebody ask me, you know, why, why are you watching these stocks if they have negative momentum? The thing is they do have negative momentum, but their momentum is starting to move back up to that zero line. And if you look at how squeezes fire, especially when they have negative momentum, the ones that really are powerful are the ones that have negative momentum that are shifting up to the zero line. Now, if you wait for this squeeze to fire, it's obviously, I would say 70, 70 to 80% of the time, a squeeze is gonna fire, the move has already been made, uh, at least 50 to 60% of the move. So you wanna get in while the squeeze is setting up but shifting towards the direction where you think it's going to move. And in this case, this is shifting up. And I think this was the potentially the first week of a pretty big move to the upside here on Microsoft, but time will tell on that. Uh, next up is Nvidia. You could see we are failing or falling in a, in a contained uh, channel here. And uh, we had a nice bounce off of the bottom of the channel four weeks ago. Now we're right back at the middle of that channel. You can see how it's acted at a resistance here, here, and here, right? And it acted as support all these weeks before moving back up. So if we get a nice close over 182, 183, I would expect a move uh, potentially in time back up to this 50 simple moving average. If we fail 
at this level, right? Because we could see this is a false breakdown under this trend line, then I would expect to move back down to the bottom of the trend line and potentially catch that 200 simple moving average. So keep a close eye on NVIDIA. All right, Shopify. This looks very similar to uh, the Google chart, right? We're, we're just trading in a range, right? $40 to the $41 to the top side, $29.67 to the bottom. Uh, you can, again, like Google, you could trade it within this range. If it comes down to the bottom, take it to the top. If it comes to the top, you could take it to the bottom. If you use stop losses above the lows and the highs, respective of the direction you want to trade it in. But really, for me, I'm, I'm waiting for a bigger move. So I want over 41, and I'll take this long. And keep in mind, you have two big you know, moving averages above you. So the trades for me would terminate likely first at the 200. And then if the 50 is declining, it'll it'll you know um, terminate there but uh, any trades to the downside um, you know you just have to watch uh, historic support levels and then basically what I would do is I would zoom out and see you know where is my next potential support like big support probably wouldn't come until about 1764 um, you know maybe uh, 21 uh, potentially 24 and uh, maybe let's say 27 but yeah, I think if we break down below 29.67, I think it's, it's a pretty big move to the downside here on Shopify. Uh, here's Snow. Uh, Snow has, you know, it's pretty much been falling, no pun intended, since its highs back in November of 21 at $400. Um, any bounces, right? You see a three-week bounce here, just sold off. Two-week bounce here is sold off. Uh, we had a four-week bounce here, and we're trying to consolidate. So with snow, I would watch for any moves under 140 or over 160. And here's last but not least, uh, Tesla. I've changed up this chart a bit because, uh, you know, it's possible that the move to the downside is done. I don't think it is, but it's certainly possible. But in the meantime, momentum is definitely to the upside. You could see two big weeks moving here. Uh, last week we had, um, or two weeks ago, we had earnings that sent us and kicked us higher. And uh, we pushed through 861, which is our 382. We pushed through that 50 simple moving average. So what I'm going to watch for next, 900, 934, and then 1,000 to the upside. And as we come into the top of this uh, broadening for, uh, for falling wedge, that's where I would look to potentially short uh, back to the downside. But if we break above 1,000 and hold, um, you know, it is certainly possible with Tesla that we move right back up to all time highs. So those are my top tech charts. Uh, I sometimes call them momentum charts because they are highly liquid charts. Uh, but those are my uh, that's my review on those names. Um, every week I review these names. I sometimes I'll add a new chart in there depending on if it's trending and if it looks good to to chart in this group. But generally speaking, these are the top names that I will be watching every single week for a, a day trading and short swing perspective. So if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button. And if you enjoy my content, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions about any of the charts that I went over, went over please just leave a comment down below. Have a great weekend and good luck in the markets next week.